Hi there, photography students. I am here today to talk to you a little bit about cameras. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what's out there and um, what we'll use in our class specifically for our darkroom photography class. Um, but I wanted you to have a broader understanding of um, what kind of image making tools are um, available to you. And so let's start with this guy here. So this is um, this is a large format camera, and basically you're shooting on sheet film. So this little case here um, allows for two pieces of film to be put into it, and the film is the size of this little rectangular space here. It's a four by five sheet film. Um, so what you do is you actually go into the dark room and you put a piece of film behind this slide and another piece of film behind this slide. And then these slides actually block the light from hitting the film. But when you're ready to take a picture, here's your camera. You have a lens on the front. You have this bellows here that allows you to change how it focuses. And you slide your piece of film in here in the back. Now, you have to wait and do that <clears throat> After you've looked through the, on this glass, you'll be able to see the image that you want to take a picture of. So I want to, and this is this is usually on a tripod. And you go under the hood so you can see on this glass through here. Okay, um, so this is pretty old school. Um, what's the advantage of using a camera like this? Well, you have a piece of film that's a four by five sheet, which means that you could actually enlarge that to be a huge picture, like the size of the wall up here, okay? So this would let you enlarge to a huge degree, right? Um, what's the dis disadvantage? Well, guess what? It takes me probably, I don't know, half an hour to an hour to take a single picture. And then I unload this and flip it over and load this one in to do my second my second picture. And now I'm out of film, right? So I have to carry a bunch of these big old cassette things. This is your film, right? And so there's only two per. And this is a huge heavy thing and you need a tripod to go with it, right? So um, lugging this around is a disadvantage, but kind of cool, kind of cool to use. Medium format, this is a medium format camera. So this, um, and I have a few others, medium format cameras kind of look different. There are some um, that are bigger in box here. Um, this is kind of, um, this is a Kodak version, um, kind of a travel style camera, that's what they call this. And the idea here is that you're gonna load medium format film, it's 120 millimeters, so that's, from here to here, it's 120 millimeters. This loads into the back here and pulls across this back space. When you're shooting this camera, you're looking down this little thing. So what's happening here is there's a, a little mirror system happening here where the light's coming in here, hitting a mirror and reflecting up. So when I look down here, I'm seeing you guys do this little thing here. Take the picture here, click. That opens the shutter, closes the shutter which allows the light to go through and hit the film at the back of the camera. Kind of cool. Again, advantage, loading this film, you're gonna have a bigger, a larger negative to work with, right? Which means you can enlarge bigger pictures um, when you're printing. Um, these pictures, I mean, you could enlarge these pretty big poster size pictures with a medium format um, piece of film, okay? 120 millimeters. Good. This is what we'll be using in our class. In our darkroom photography, in our darkroom photography class, I'll be handing out 35 millimeter DSLR, or I'm sorry, 35 millimeter SLR cameras. So SLR stands for single lens reflex. You have to know this. Single lens reflex means that there is a lens with a mirror inside of here. So what's happening here? The light's gonna go through your lens 
and hit the back of this camera back here. Hang on, let me set that to bulb. So, light's coming through my lens. My film will be laid across here and here. And when I take a picture, I'm going to do this really slow. Light will come through the lens and hit my film space right there. It'll close and I'll make an image on my negatives here. Okay, kind of cool. Now, if you look, this is your viewfinder up here. That's where you look through to see the image. The lens is down here. Notice how those don't line up. Well, how does that work? Well, what's happening is there's a mirror system in this one, just similar to that one. I'll show it to you, if you can see. If you can see there, there's a mirror that's sitting like this, right? So when the light hits the mirror, it bounces up, and in here there's a pentaprism, which actually makes the light bounce here, here, and then there. So it bounces all around inside of this, and that lets me see the image through the viewfinder. Well, when I actually take the picture, when I click on the shutter release here, you'll notice the mirror that's right there pops up. See how it's up? Which lets the light through, and then it drops back down. It's kind of cool. That's the, the 35 millimeter SLR uh, style camera. That's what we'll be using for our class. Um, I have lots of these. This is a Canon, Canon version, but we have, I have Canon, Pentax, Olympus, all kinds of different um, cameras that you'll have a chance to use. Okay, awesome. This film is a little smaller. Typically, when we use 35 millimeter film, um, we kind of max out our enlargement size at eight by tens. Um, if you went a little bit bigger, um, 11 by 14, um, you could stretch it to that if you have a really nice um, negative. Um, but if you start going bigger than that, you're definitely going to start getting some grain, which is kind of like pixelized. Um, so grain in film photography is where you see like little dots and things kind of showing the, uh, the picture isn't perfect. Okay, good. So then, similar to this SLR camera, you have a DSLR camera. Okay, the DSLR camera uses an SD card as its phone, right? So same style camera and same technique. It's a single lens reflex still using a mirror inside of here. See the mirror? So same, similar to this camera, but now we're just recording our information, our image. The image is being recorded in a different way, okay? So um, so again, I'm looking through the viewfinder and that mirror is reflecting up into, into this space up here and letting me see what's in front of me. But when I click the shutter release button, that mirror lifts up and instead of seeing film, there's a, a digital, recorder inside there, okay? So that digital recorder is recording, um, the, the, it's, it's called a light sensor, and that light sensor is actually recording the light information that's coming into the camera lens, okay? So this, this uh, DSLR is a crop sensor, which means it's about um, one to one point, six of the size of a 35 millimeter piece of film. So what does that mean? It's, it means it's it's a quite a bit smaller than an actual 35 millimeter piece of film. The sensor on, so the sensor on this is pretty small, okay? Then some newer technology. And I mean, this is, these are, this is still good new technology. They still make they still are always consistently making DSLR cameras right now. This is a mirrorless. So this is my personal mirrorless camera. This is a Sony um, mirrorless um, camera, yeah, and digital camera. And the difference here, and I'm gonna show you, basically my camera doesn't have the mirror system. It's all digital. So it's not using a mirror to reflect the light up. It's using a digital image to show me what's in my viewfinder and on the back of my camera. So I could hold it like this or like this. 
can see what's um what's happening because it's actually like a video feed. Now, when I take the lens off of here, you're gonna see, hey, it's a little different here. No mirror. What is that? That's the sensor. And this camera is actually a, what they call a full frame sensor, which means it's actually 35 millimeters in size, the same as this 35 millimeter piece of film. Okay, so full frame, and you see the sensors just sitting right here. How does it work? When I press the shutter release, it's turning the sensor on and turning the sensor off and capturing, recording that that light that's coming into um, into the lens. I don't want to leave the sensor off, or I'm sorry, the lens off too long. I don't want to get dust on my sensor. So, so there you go. Mirrorless camera works a little bit different, right? It's a more digital turns. It's it's measuring that light right on the sensor there, whereas this mirrorless is also measuring the light on the sensor. This uh, DSLR, um, but it has that mirror that's flipping up and down to let that light through onto the sensor. Okay, good. Well. That's kind of an overview of some of the more common cameras that you might come across if um, you really get into this photography. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.